let's talk about self-love for a moment and why it's important i think more so than anything today there's a struggle with unworthiness that's taking place and we have to get to a point where we're transitioning from that struggle with unworthiness to what Dr. Martin Luther King would call a sense of somebodyness. See, we live in a society where we are adopting the opinions of others as our own reality. But as Les Brown, uh, one of the greatest motivators of our generation, said, someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Oftentimes, people live their lives according to the story they believe about themselves. So what kind of conversations are you having with yourself? That is the most important conversation because when you can get to a point where you're not seeking the approval of others. Matter of fact, when we're, when we're talking about approval, when you get seeking approval, what you're saying subconsciously is that what other people say about you is more important than what you say about yourself. And what you have to begin to understand is that your universe creates your universe. So what do I mean? What I mean is the way you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. So remember that the way you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. So just in case you haven't heard it today, I want to let you know that you matter, you are loved, and you are worthy.